is really cute. It's called Max at Night by Ed Veer. And it's super cute. I think I got it from Scholastic like last year and it's like already worn out. It's well loved. Okay. So Scholastic gave us permission to read it online, which is great. So I hope you guys enjoy it. My little black cat, his name is Max. Okay. And you're going to see what he's trying to do or look for at night. This is Max. It is way past Max's bedtime. Look how cute he is. Max is very sleepy. Max has drunk his milk. Max has brushed his teeth. Max has cleaned behind his ears. There he is drinking up his milk. He's going go go go. There he is brushing his teeth. Teeth brush brush brush. And there he is, scrubbing behind his ears. Scrub, 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 scrub. All the things you have to do to get ready for bed. Now Max is going to say good night. Good night, fish, says Max. Good night, fox, says Max. Good night, spider, says Max. Good night, moon, says Max. But the moon is nowhere to be seen. He is just saying good night to everything. How many of you do things like that when you're supposed to go to bed and you don't want to? I bet a lot of you. Let's see what he's going to do next. Moon! Moon, where are you, Moon? Says Max. Maybe I'll see Moon from outside. There he is looking. Max steps out into the starlit night. Good night, night, says Max. Have you seen moon? But the night is dark and quiet. Maybe I'll see moon if I get a little higher, thinks Max. See all that's in the sky are a bunch of stars. There's Max looking for the moon. Max tiptoes carefully up onto the sleeping dog. Good night, dog, whispers Max. Have you seen Moon? But the sleeping dog is sleeping. Hmm, maybe I'll see Moon if I get a little higher, thinks Max. Max climbs up a tall, tall tree and creeps out along a branch. Good night, tree, says Max. Do you know where I can find Moon? But the tall, tall tree only rustles in the breeze. He is very brave climbing up that big tree. Max climbs even higher up among the rooftops. Good night, rooftops, says Max. Have you seen Moon? But the rooftops are silent. Hmm, maybe if I get much higher, thinks Max. Maybe from the tallest building. Max climbs up and up and up. Good night, tallest building, says Max. Can you see Moon? But the tallest building says nothing. Oh, Moon, where are you, Moon? Says Max. Look at him, look at him up there. That's very high up. That's so crazy. Poor buddy. Max. 
Max is very tired, but he climbs up even higher. To the highest of the high hills, where the wind blows cold and strong. Good night, hill, says Max. Please tell me, have you seen moon? But the highest of the high hills just whistles in the wind. Max has had enough. I wonder what he's gonna do next. Moon, where are you? Yikes. He is very frustrated. Up on the highest of the high hills, the wind hears Max and blows and blows and blows the clouds away. What's he gonna find? And there, full and brilliant in the night sky, Moon! Good night, Max whispers Moon, and thank you very much for coming. Oh, good night, Moon, yawns Max. It's been a long, long night. Now I can go to bed. Max, calls Moon across the night sky. Did you know that I can hear you when you say good night at home? Oh, says Max, now you tell me. Well, thank you, that's very good to know. He didn't have to go all that way. Moon could hear him. Max is tired and happy. He walks back along the rooftops and clambers down the tall, tall tree. Max creeps carefully over the sleeping dog and sleepy, very sleepy, he climbs the stairs to bed. Sleep tight, Max, says Moon. But Max doesn't hear. Max is snoring, snoring, snoring. Fast asleep. the end. Did y'all like that one? I'm sorry.